Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Evangelist David Horn from Ontario, California. I am so excited in this Harvest Celebration program that God is about to release some great things that's going to take place. What if I would ask you a question, you pastors, if you can see the, your church to double, triple, or quadruple in 90 days. If you're really interested, pay close attention because we're going to be talking about the power of your confession. The Bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. I'm so excited right now because your season is about to change. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to Harvest Celebration with Pastor David Horn, Senior Pastor of Life Changing Ministries Family Worship Center in Ontario, California. Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Evangelist David Horn from Ontario, California. We thank God for this Harvest Celebration. Let me just get right to it. Pastor, what would you say? if we can bring Harvest Celebration to your city and your church attendance double, triple, or quadruple. I want to tell you, we're doing it. For over 15 years, we've been across the country going to various churches and using the principle of seed time and harvest. The Bible says, be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that ye also reap. We believe death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. I believe right now it's not by accident, but it's by divine connection that you are on the church channel listening to me because God is about to do something. Some of you may be a little frustrated saying, you know what, I've been working 10, 15 years in a certain community, but I haven't seen the harvest. Well, God has given me biblical principles that we can share with with you and we can walk you through the process. I want you to call that number right now, 1-800-723-7471, amen, if you have a prayer request or you want to get information concerning the Harvest Celebration. We also have a great book, amen, dealing with double, triple, and quadruple the attendance of your church. I also want to pray for that believer that you really want to see your loved ones saved, and we're going to touch and agree and believe God God, that God is not only going to save them, but God is going to save their entire family. I want to go to the word of God uh, found in the book of St. Mark chapter uh, number uh, 11 and verse number 12. If you can follow with me, this is the King James Version. It says, and on the morrow when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry and seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came if happily he might find anything thereon. And when he had came to it, he found nothing but leaves, but the time of the figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said, no man eateth fruit of the hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. We're going to go to verse number uh, 20. He says in the morning as they pass, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots and Peter calling to remembrance said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursed is withered away. The thing that you spoke to, you caused death by speaking. That tree would not bear fruit. Look at that. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And Jesus answered unto the disciples, said, have faith in God. Have God kind of faith. The Bible says, and verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things which he said shall come to pass, and he shall have whatsoever he said. This is the fun part here in scripture here. Therefore I say unto you, verse 24, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you shall receive them and you shall have them. All right. I want to just speak to you just for just a few minutes about the power of your confession. I want you to understand that in this scripture, in this book of Mark, we find that Jesus is doing his earthly ministry and he comes to a place, a man that he sees a tree that was not bearing fruit. Amen. And the Bible says he does something very, very 
you know, kind of out of the box. He speaks to a fig tree and said, right now you will not bear any fruit. And the Bible says the disciples heard it. I want to uh, ask you a question, Pastor. I want you to ask you a question, believer. What's in your life that's not bearing fruit, that you're constantly trying to work for and trying to gender and trying to muster up fruit? Amen. God is speaking to me to tell you right now, that you need to call those things which be not as though they were. If there's something that is not bearing fruit in your life, you need to speak to that thing and say that God is changing my season. The Bible says the disciples heard it. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. This was a teaching lesson for the disciples. Amen. The Bible says, amen, when Peter, he came the next day and they saw the fig tree dried up from the root because of the power, amen, that came out of Jesus Christ's mouth. Do you know we're made in the image of God and the world was created, amen, formed by a spoken word? For Hebrews says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of, not, of things not seen. He said, by this, the elders retain a good report. What was that report? That report was the report of the word of God by faith. They believed God. They, st they stood believing God's word. But in verse number three says, we understand that the worlds were framed or constructed by the word of God. So the things that were made are, are, are not made of which things of do, which do appear. Basically, in other words, God called a man something that was not there and he called to be, to, to be made manifest. I want you to understand right now that you need to start speaking life in your ministry. I want, to, I want you to begin to speak positive things, godly things, and believe in God, that God is about to do something, amen, very incredible. He says that, amen, therefore I say unto you, whatsoever thing you desire when you pray, the first step we have to pray. We have to go to God. We have to believe God. I want you to understand when you pray, you pray believing, amen, that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. Amen. I believe that my loved one, my cousin, my uncle, my aunt, my relative is going to be saved because the heartbeat of God is so winning. For the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish. I just praise God because God is saying the words that come out of our mouth makes the difference. The Bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue. We find this in scripture when the centurion met Jesus, he had a situation. He said, my servant is sick. Jesus said, I'll come and heal. He said, wait a minute. He says, I understand the authority and the power that you have. Just speak the word and my servant shall be made whole. Jesus was just like, wow, to see this man that's a centurion use the steps of confession. And the Bible says, amen, immediately that servant was healed. I want to say to you, Pastor, amen, right now, this Monday morning, that God is about to change the landscape of your ministry. And I speak right now in your spirit that God is sending you a harvest in your community, a harvest in your church. I speak that there's no lack no more in Jesus' name, because the scripture says death and life is in the power of the tongue. I want you to understand before we go into our season, we have to change our confession. We have to call those things which be not as though they were. I want to say right now that your church will double, triple, and quadruple right now. We're going to touch and agree. We're going to believe God. I want to talk to the believer and let you know that your loved one is going to get saved in Jesus' name. Amen. God is going to, amen, move it and turn it around for you. Amen. The Bible says, don't be weary in well-doing, for you shall reap if you faint not. Sometimes we don't understand that when we speak the word of God, that there's a process that has to take place. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven is like a net that's being cast. He said, first the blade comes, then the ear of the corn, then the full corn, amen. And then the harvest has come, the sickle comes, the process of faith. We speak with our lips, we believe in our heart, amen. We give it to God and we keep speaking it until it comes to pass. 
us. I want to share with you that God is doing something right now. You need to pick up the phone and call 1-800-723-7471 and we're going to touch and agree and believe God that God's going to save that loved one. We're going to believe God that God is going to turn your ministry around. We're going to believe God that there's no more lack. Amen. But there's God's provision right now because we understand that greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. I'm so excited about what God is doing right now. And the phones are, are being uh, are, are being called. Phones are being called. Phones are being uh, uh, numbers are being called right now. Call that number 1-800-723-7471. This is the Harvest Celebration Program. And on last week, we had several calls and people are just asking, you know what? I want my loved ones saved. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, therefore, I say unto you, whatsoever thing you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you should have them. Once you give it to God, leave it there, but continue to keep confessing it. Hallelujah to God. There's a pastor. You're ready just to give up, throw in the towel. Don't throw in that towel. Amen. Just hold on. Help us on the way. He speaks in the book of Matthew chapter number nine. He says, therefore, he said, pray to the Lord of the harvest that he might send forth labors in the vineyard. God is sending a harvest to your community. God is sending a harvest to your church. And we're praying. What we're praying for, we're praying for laborers to come in. God is going to send you the resources. God is going to send you the ability to, to do what you need to do. Amen. In your ministry. It doesn't matter if, if you're in Florida. It doesn't matter if you're in New York. It doesn't matter if you're on the West Coast or even, amen, across the waters. God said, this is your time. This is your season for harvest. Pick up the phone and call the number one 800 723-7471. Again, 1-800-723-7471 and watch God send the harvest. You have a mountain, you have an obstacle in front of you. The first thing we have to do, we have to speak to the mountain. Your mouth is as a seed. He says, you speak to that mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast in the sea. And when you, amen, uh, apply your faith with the word of God, it will obey. Hallelujah to God. In the name of of Jesus. The first thing we have to do, we have to correct our confession. Amen. We have to begin to speak the right thing. Amen. And pray and believe God that God is going to send the harvest. This is Pastor Evangelist David Horn from Ontario, California. I just praise God for what God is about to do. I want you to call right now. Amen. With your prayer request. I want you to believe God because God is sending the harvest to your church. For prayer requests or more information on Harvest Celebration or to sow a seed to this ministry, please call 1-800-723-7471 or visit our website at harvestcelebration.us. Experience church growth within 90 days with the Harvest Celebration Church Growth Strategy. If you want your church to grow and the old days of going door to door are not working for you, the Harvest Celebration Campaign is what you need. We give you tools to succeed in causing exponential growth within your congregation, not in years, but in just days. With results you can measure, you can ignite the fire of evangelism in your church by simply embracing the power of invitation. Reconnect the congregation with the real mission of the church, soul winning. Ask about one of our Harvest Celebration kits or invite Pastor Horn to your ministry today to receive hands-on training in effective evangelism with proven results. Go to our website, read our client testimonials, then call us to get started with the Harvest Celebration campaign at your church. To find out more about the Harvest Celebration Church Growth Strategy, go to harvestcelebration.us. Please call 1-800-723-7471. Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Evangelist David Horn from Ontario, California. We're so excited in this segment. Uh, we have uh, Bishop uh, Henry Alexander and pa Pastor Marty Alexander of the Shield of Faith Ministries, which is an awesome ministry in Pomona, California, which is so excited. Uh, he's also the presider of the Shield of Faith uh, uh, Ministries International and worldwide. And God has did some great, great things in his life. And he embellishes harvest. Amen. He's just come, amen, over the seas. And God has uh, uh, just did a tremendous uh, things with young people, young people getting saved, baptized, filled with the 
precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And I'm so honored to have you two, amen, on my program, Harvest Celebration. And so I'm just going to ask you some questions. We're just going to flow with it. Uh, Harvest Celebration, uh, we started in July. What does Harvest Celebration mean to you and, you know, uh, uh, Bishop? Good for us at uh, Shield of Faith Harvest, it's been a great opportunity to kind of begin again. Our ministry is about 30 years old. We've done a lot. We've accomplished things. And yet this was an opportunity for a fresh start, mm -hmm. uh, Elder Horn. I've known you for many years. I've seen your ministry mm -hmm. and uh, we know the Lord has brought you to us at a very excellent, important time mm -hmm. because it gives us an opportunity to, the word that we're using is really to relaunch the ministry, right. yes. to get a fresh beginning and a uh -huh. new beginning. Uh, I think that we all recognize we live in very difficult days yes. now and the yeah. world is a very dark place. And the church really needs something. We need a spark. We need, mm -hmm. a, we need some new strategies. We need some new um, approaches right, to some old right. problems. Right, right. And uh, we felt as soon as we talked with you that uh, you had something that was going to really make a, a difference for us. Yeah, I mean, and I think that Pastor Marty would bear witness that yes. it's made in a tremendous impact in yes, the life of our yes. church. What, what would you say, Pastor Marty? First of all, it's mobilizing the members. It's creating a morale. It's creating a great sensation uh -huh. and an excitement. Uh -huh. Now that's what's working within the church. Right. But the greatest news is what's working outside the church. Yes, yes. Yeah. The fact that we're going and getting people and getting them ready to come to an exciting time and a service, a series of services right. that we're going to have in the next month. Well, it, we started in July right. and uh, last night we were in service mm -hmm. and we're at 2,100 people that has in, oh, invited. That's, on, that's only the beginning. We really embrace the, the goal that you challenged us to meet. And uh, Pastor Horn has challenged us to meet a goal of 5,000 right, people right, that right, we're going to right, invite. Right. And the members are all excited. Uh, it's all good to have excited. some yes. objective goal, something to really aim at. Yes. So we're not just simply generically trying to grow. Right. We're specifically uh, embracing in faith some of the things that God is putting in yes. place. I've heard you teach recently about uh, declaring things with your mouth, speaking uh, positive kinds of right. confessions and right. setting goals for yourself right. in the spirit. So we've embraced the goal of 5,000. And we're challenged to meet the goal. And by the grace of God, we're going to meet our goal of 5,000. Right, and right. And we'll see what God will do with that. Well, you had one particular sister. You know, in the last segment, we, we said that uh, we had uh, a young lady here at uh, New Direction Church in Southern California. Mm -hmm. They invited over three. One sister invited 300. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday night when I preach, mm -hmm. you said you had a sister that invited uh, well, close to four to five people. I think this is your people. fault. I think you did something oh. to my people when you came. <laughs> this young lady, as Pastor Marty can bear witness, is very quiet. She's very unassuming. You would never yes. imagine that this kind of uh, potential was in she her. She said she had 500 in. She has invited more than 500 more people. More than 500. And, and we're before, only about a, a halfway six, through the campaign. And I suspect that she may well reach somewhere yes. seven to eight hundred or so people yes. before one we really person come down to the harvest. Pa pastor, one, one, one person, yeah. Yeah. one person, yeah. five hundred, and the numbers are right. are just increasing. And before this harvest program is over, we're going to reach over five thousand people, yeah. and we're believing God that out of that, yeah. that. Amen. God's going to send us a minimum of a tide. I mean, yeah. at least 10%. Yeah. We're looking for 20% actually. Elder Horn, I believe in, in Ephesians 4.11. I believe in what the word says there. And it talks about the fact that God has put in the church apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, yes. and teachers. Yes. I believe in the office of the evangelist for today. And I'm really serious when I, I was kind of maybe just uh, joking a bit when I said that I think you put something on her. But there's an evangelistic gifting in your life that yes, transmits yes. itself sure. to people. Sure. When you come on, there is a grace of God on your life. Bless and as you. you begin to interact with the people, Bless something you. comes out of your spirit that God has given Bless you. And it deposits itself in the life Bless of the saints. Bless so my members are all lit up. Now, I've been talking to them about going out and doing evangelism. Right. And we've had some limited success. Right. But as you brought the gift that God has given you, and I you. want to really make sure that this television audience is aware of the endorsement that I'm making on your ministry. Bless you. We have churches all around the country. We have churches around the world. And I am encouraging all of our pastors to receive, for those of you in the listening audience, the viewing audience, I want to encourage you to receive the ministry of this man of God because there is an impartation in your life that you can pass yes, on to others. Yes, yes. And so I'm, I, I really appreciate the wisdom of God 
in the way that he structures the church. Everything that we need is there. Bless you. And we've been frustrated in our churches because we've had some limited success yes. in growing. Yes. And as I said to some others, it seems that some of the celebrities are able to reach people so easily. Yes. But the church right now is struggling to reach the culture. Yes. But I believe that God has given yes. you the strategy yes. that's Bless going you. to work. Bless you. And Pastor Marty, I know you bear witness to that. Most well, you, you, you know, you have a prophetic mantle on you. I've always we've, we've known that. Yes. Uh, what have you What have you seen not only here at your local church, but globally, what what God is doing with all this turmoil in reference of the church, the position of the church? Well, and would you also share about some of the miracles that God has given us recently in healings? And most so definitely. Yeah. Well, we believe that we're very close to the end time. Right. And the Lord must do a work. Mm -hmm. So he is using people who he has gifted, such as yourself, to reach churches, to Absolutely. reach their communities. Mm -hmm. It is a mandate. Wow. We must wow. go into all the world. Wow. Right. It is time to do that now. Wow. People must wake up. The church must come alive right. and finish the work that we were given to do. Now, we just completed missions trips. Our yeah. church, our fellowship is very mission minded. Mm -hmm. So we, he just finished a mission trip in Europe. Right. I just finished one. I took a team to, to Africa, yeah. to Lusaka, Zambia. Mm -hmm. We must strengthen the church. Right. We must reach the unchurched. And we must do this all for the Lord because our time it's is up. very short. I, I, want to, I want to encourage you to call because I felt the anointing of God being released. You need to call 1-800-723-7471. I want to specifically say the churches that you're, you don't have a covering, you're not connected. Uh, the Shield of Faith Fellowship, Churches of Fellowship is so, so important. And I want you to call me if you have not a covering. And I want yes. to connect you with this man of God and this woman of God because yes, sure. they're doing this exploits uh, in the kingdom of God. But I want to share with you right now that God is about to do something. The yes. anointing of God yes, is on me, yes, amen, yes. in reverence of coming to your community, amen. And within 90 days, God is going to do some great things. Mm -hmm. I want to share with you uh, a, 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 a pastor uh, that I feel in your church that the 5,000, that you're going to go over 5,000. I believe that. I, 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 I really I believe, believe that. that. And right. I believe that God is raising up labors. You already have labors right. In, right. in the church, but God is raising up uh, uh, other yes. labors right. that yes. will come in and bring resources uh, to your church. I just want you to share, just share with us what do you think the impact of just harvest in a general sense? One of the things that's so exciting to me <clears throat> is to anticipate what people are going to experience once they come. Mm -hmm. Because it's one concern to get them there. But right. the other part of that is what will their experience be once they get inside the walls? What we're focused on right now, you've taught us how to get them there. But we're looking yes. at what is going to happen in to their lives them. once they get in yes, the community yes, of yes, believers, yes, yes. once they get in that church building where the anointing of God is. We've had so many miracles of healings from cancer. We've had uh, deaf ears open. Uh, Addictions we've had, broken. Uh, from diabetes. We've had so many things. We are fasting and praying. Even right now, at the very time that we're talking about we're this, fasting. I can say mm -hmm. that we're on a fast right now. The church is on a fast mm -hmm. as we get ourselves ready and prepare the atmosphere. The atmosphere. So that yes. when people come in, they can receive the yes, kind yes, of deliverance yes, 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 yes. that they are really looking for. I, I, I want to say this. I want to jump in on this. The Harvest Celebration Sundays is September. Right. All the Sundays in September. Every Sunday. And I want to, mm -hmm. I want to, uh, we're going to give, we're going to put the address up of the Shield of Faith. That address is? It is 1750 West Holt Avenue in the beautiful city of Pomona, California. 1750 now, West right. Holt Avenue. Now Very you need close. to come. You need to come to the church. You need to come oh, on one of those Sundays. Us. We personally invite yes. you. Matter of fact, I'm going to be preaching revival the right. last week. Yes. The yes. last week, the 29th, the, 29th, the right. 30th. That's right. All yeah, right. right. I'm going to be That's preaching right. the last Sunday in September. Mm -hmm. And so we want to encourage you. And you can actually see the harvest. As a matter of fact, we encourage you, pastors, maybe you can send uh, your leadership team during those Sundays yes. uh, to Pomona oh, yes. uh, to be a part of this harvest celebration that is happening on next month in September. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about what God is doing. Amen. Here at the Shield of Faith Ministries in Pomona. Again, uh, uh, we want to pray for you. We want to touch and agree. Good. Pray for loved ones that... Uh, we want to see saved, pray for pastors. Yes, and yes, so yes. what we're going to do, we're going to touch and agree yes. right now. Yes. Pick up the phone sure. right now, 1-800-723-7471. Yes, 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 yes. This is Harvest Celebration you, Program. Thank and my you, interest, my you. assignment is to you, Pastor, to that city and that community to come because
because you cannot put the same type of wine in new bottle skins. Yes, this yes. is a new ideal. This is a new concept. I want you to pick up the book. Amen. We will uh, afford the book with, uh, to you, yes. a book and DVD for a donation of $30. You, if you can you, deal with our website, call our website, www.harvestcelebration.com. Uh, dot us God will just open some tremendous yes, doors for yes. you. Father, we thank, thank you, you for your loving kindness and your thank tender you, mercy, Jesus. and we praise you, God, for this program, oh, God. Somebody's you, been God. touched. Somebody yes, has Lord. been healed. Somebody mm -hmm. has Preach been them, moved, Lord. God. Mm -hmm. I pray, God, that you bless the Shield of Faith mm -hmm. Ministries mm -hmm. and all the churches, God, that is tuning bless in on God. this broadcast. You, we pray for increase. We pray mm -hmm. for deliverance. But most of yes, all, we pray Lord. that souls will be Hallelujah. saved in Jesus' name. Amen. All we want you to pay too Hallelujah. every Monday from 8 to 8 30. This is the Harvest Celebration program. And if you would like for me to come to your church, I want you to call that number 1 800 723 7471. That number again is 1 800 723 7471. And watch God send, send a harvest. Pastor Horn, as we were praying, God showed me a picture of a middle aged uh, Anglo man who was bent over with back pain. Wow. And as we were praying, God showed me he straightened up and the pain was gone. Somebody has been affected and already received a benefit by this transaction and by this prayer. We are praying, we are Holy Ghost filled people and we believe in the power of the Lord to heal and to save. Please come and join us. We talked about the power of your confession and how we have to call those things which be not as though they were. We talked about how God is going to do tremendous things once we put our faith and our confidence in Him. Remember this, that Jesus is Lord. I'll see you next Monday. God bless you. Bye-bye. Become a Harvest Partner by sowing to advance the kingdom through soul winning. With a $30 seed, you receive the Harvest Book and DVD. Double, triple, or quadruple your church attendance in 90 days. Or invite Pastor Horn to your church for his membership and guidance through all three phases of the campaign, leading up to the Harvest Celebration Sunday. To order your copy of Harvest Celebration or to invite Pastor Horn to your church, please call 1-800-723-7471 or visit our website at harvestcelebration.us. Praise the Lord, this is Pastor Evangelist David Horn of Ontario, California, Life Changing Ministries. I'm just so excited that you had a chance to uh, just tune in into the Bible study teaching. And I want to just encourage you, if you would like to see your church double, triple, and quadruple in 90 days, please contact my website, www.davidhornministry.com, and you can get further information. Or if you'd like for me to come and do a Harvest Celebration campaign, uh, just click it and, and we get in contact and watch God do some incredible things. God bless you. Join Pastor Horn every Sunday at Life Changing Ministries, 1801 East D Street, Ontario, California. Service time is 11 a.m. And be sure to watch Harvest Celebration with Pastor David Horn every Wednesday at 6 p.m. right here on the Church Channel. For prayer requests or more information on Harvest Celebration or to sow a seed to this ministry, please call 1-800-723-7471 or visit our website at harvestcelebration.us. Thanks for watching Harvest Celebration with Pastor David Horn. Please be sure to tune in every Wednesday at 6 p.m. right here on the Church Channel.